Hi, I'm Leonard Feather. Let's talk about jazz, percussive jazz, and the men who make it, the drummers. Particularly when the sticks are in the hands of Lionel Hampton, Buddy Rich, and Gene Krupa. In the case of Hamp, his virtuosity with the vibraphone has tended to diminish Lionel's image as a drummer. Still, the drums were his first love. Among jazz musicians, Buddy Rich has earned that highest of accolades, the title of the drummer's favorite drummer. Whether providing the beat for the bands of Artie Shaw, Tommy Dorsey, Harry James, or heading one of his own bands, he has set the standard for innumerable jazz drummers. Here, in a scene from the 1948 film Buddy Rich and His Orchestra, we see an example of Buddy Rich's great technical skill and rhythmic sense as he builds to a furious finale on not so quiet, please. most people, the words jazz drummer are synonymous with Gene Krupa. In Benny Goodman's band from 1935 to 38, Krupa's popularity was due to an outstanding talent on his instrument and to his visual personality, a shock of long black hair, flashing, gum-chewing teeth. After leaving Goodman and forming his own band, Krupa has continued to be both a crowd pleaser and a great jazz drummer. Here we see him at his best in a 1947 film, Drummer Man.
Music styles come and go, but to qualify as jazz, it's got to rely on the man who lays down the beat, the drummer man and his indispensable sound of percussion.